so pitch warble. I'm going to explore a few ways to make use of it. One kind of rule of thumb that works pretty well is that tape speed has a lot to do with it. The higher the tape speed, the less pitch warble you're going to have. The lower the tape speed, the more you're going to have. So let's just go. We'll start at what's called normal tape speed. I'm going to record this synth tone. Because it doesn't have a ton of motion, it just kind of sits. A little bit happening there, but I think it'll I think it'll work. I'm just going to straight record it so we can hear what happens without too much finagling. So this is a tape loop. So naturally when the tape loop ends and begins, there's going to be some, uh, some stuff in there. Okay. So that's a nice start. Now I'm going to record again at, uh, the slowest tape speed. This machine has three speeds, which is fairly rare. One of the nice things about the 424. So anyway, now I'm going to go down to slow speed. So this is half of normal tape speed. Uh, yeah. So, subtle difference there, and now, same idea, but I'm going to go up to double speed. Okay, so you can hear we get different kinds of motion at all the different speeds. Now, I'm going to play with recording at a different speed than I play back at. So imagine, let's imagine I want to play at normal speed, but I'm going to record it at high speed. And I want to hear... I want to hear it at this pitch. But I'm going to record it at high speed at this pitch. So that when I pop it down, it's at the pitch I want. So, for example... Okay, so now we're going to go to normal speed, play it. And now an even more extreme version of that. I'm going to put it this high, record at high speed, and then pop down all the way down to slow speed, so two octaves down. So let's record. That's really good. I'll play it at high speed and then pop it down so you can hear the difference. Okay, next up, I'm going to go back to normal speed. And normal pitch. So you don't just have to leave the machine sort of running at one pace as you record. This is getting into the more extreme stuff, but can be super fun. For example, I'm going to record, play, and move the pitch control manually.
So it records my motion as I'm going. That was maybe a little extreme. I mean, sometimes you're going for that. Similarly, go back to recording. I'm going to record this again. And this time, I'm going to mess with the tape speed as I'm recording. So, for example. And let's see what happened there. Like most things, I don't know what it's going to sound like. Find out. All right, so some quick ways you can mess with pitch on the tape machines. As always, give me some comments. Love to discuss all your thoughts and feelings and maybe some ideas you have for all of this.